What's up, guys? This is probably one of the most important videos. Andrew Cruz is here to deliver it. And what we're going to be going over is the departments, sub-departments, and SOPs. And also, I'll show you how to set up um, how to uh, create SOPs super quickly. And you also want to deliver this training over to your team members. So what we want to start with is the departments tab. You want to outline your departments right here. So we have eight, make sure you don't overdo it. We have innovation, which incorporates offers, marketing, prospecting, sales, fulfillment, human resources, operations, and finances. So go ahead and pop those in. And then you wanna assign who's responsible for each of those departments. And as business owners, it's our responsibility to help remove ourselves from being responsible for each department. That way we work on the business, not in the business, right? So you have this nice little chart right here where you can see the progress you've been making on the processes in each department, how many are in there, how many have been completed. And then you have a section to show yourself if you're removing yourself from each part of the business. So go ahead, put in the departments of your business right here. And then everything will track back uh, to the SOPs in the categories. There's also a section for notes and technology as well. We're gonna be using those in the near future. So we have departments in here, plug those in. And then each department has sub departments. So offer trainings, uh, offer documents, so on and so forth. Start plugging in the sub departments for each department right? And then this also has a tracker to completion. As you can see, we have a lot of work to do, but I'm excited for it. Uh, and every time an SOP is marked complete inside of here, we'll get even closer and closer to completing each sub department. So you can use ChatGPT to help you out there, come to the calls, ask questions about these different sub departments, but there's a high level overview. So Get the departments in, then put in your sub departments imperfectly. Make sure you number them so they're in as much logical order as possible. And then you have your SOPs right here. So um, how we capture SOPs is it starts with um, a Loom video, then uh, we uh, delegate it, then we test it out, and then we document it. So a lot of these things in here are just documented right here. And we have it broken down by department. If something's broken in here, we just wanna go up to filter and then make sure that the right department is in there. And we have the type of SOP it is right here. And then the status right here. So is it video created, documented, needs approved and in action right there and make sure that your team members are assigned. So if you have Google documents, if you have want to use some of our trainings that are inside the portal, you can put them in here and have version one of your SOPs in here. Done is better than perfect, especially when you're creating version one of the SOPs. So that's what it looks like. And then we want to make it super easy to capture SOPs. And this is how we do it. So we go to extensions right here and we add in, we already have it set up right here. So I guess we'll just use this. So you wanna use the web clipper extension. You wanna make sure it's going to table. For SOP, you wanna capture the page title. For department, just leave it blank. Category or sub department, just leave it blank. Um, make sure you capture the video, you, the page URL link for the video, and then process reference template, leave it blank, status, leave it blank, responsible, leave it blank, and type and screenshot, leave those blank. So once you got that set up with your Airtable Web Clipper, you can go to your Loom or wherever you're catching that process and go to that page and simply click right here to add in the SOP, boom. 
and it captures the title of the page, um, then we can put it in the right department, put it in the right uh, section, whatever it is. It captures the, uh, the Loom link right there. If we have any written notes that we wanna put in here with the Loom link, we can put it in there. And then status would be video created. And then you can delegate and assign your team members who's responsible. And then you can hit, if it's a template reference process training or link, let's hit that. And inside of here, Myco will now have that process to follow. So that's how you can delegate and get processes off your plate super freaking quickly. Just imperfectly shooting a Loom video using the Airtable Web Clipper to drop it in here. So your next steps is setting up the departments, the sub departments, imperfectly done is better than perfect at first, and then setting up the Web Clipper for you and your team members and start creating those processes. That's about it for this video. I will see you in the next one.